day folks, this is Greg Judy at Green Pasture Farm. We're looking here at the end of May. Uh, summer's real close to being up on us. I want to give a little talk today about continuous grazing versus rotational grazing, adaptive grazing, whatever you want to call it, plant grazing. In other words, don't give the animals your farm for the whole year, move them. So over here across the fence we have one bull and he's on about, I don't know, 10 acres there. He's actually locked up on the hill today because we have 57 bulls right across the wire from him. Our neighbor, very gracious, he'll put his bull up where we don't have him moving back and forth. But he's got a fence over there and I've got one here. That's hot. He's got 9,000 bulls in his and I've got about 12,000 in mine. So it's, you're not going to have anything get through that. But that bull never gets moved out of there. And look at the difference, how thin that grass is. Okay? And if you do a panoramic over on our pasture right here, we had 320 head in here 30 days ago. 320 head. Today we're going to have 57 bulls in here in strips. But I wanted to show you something. This is eastern gamma grass. Look at the gamma grass in here. It's all over. It's just coming in everywhere in this bottom. See, this bottom over here was part of this farm years ago, and they sold it off. They split it in two. Look at the gamma grass across the road, or across the fence line. There isn't any. There's one little clump right there. Folks, cattle, sheep, it doesn't matter, horses, they'll kill this stuff out if you allow them to graze it all the time. Uh, the neighbor is kind of paranoid about his fence getting shorted out. So what's he do? He sprays it with Roundup, which, you know, I, I haven't said a thing to him because I want to be a good neighbor, all right? And that's fine. We've got a clean fence line thanks to him. But I'll tell you what, you don't need to do this. you got a good charger. Just don't shut it off. Look what's happened to the soil. Okay, folks, I'm not going to touch it anymore. I'm, I'm going to wash my hands when I get down here. I can smell Roundup. I can smell Roundup just standing here. Folks, Roundup's in everything. It's in the air, it's, it's in our water, it's in our food. For heaven's sakes, people, stop putting that Roundup. You're gonna kill humanity. You can't be putting this stuff on everything. It's not safe. It builds up in the soil, builds up in your body. We don't need this crap. And the worst part is when they spew Roundup, look what it happened. It's real good at its job. It kills everything, including people. Kill the soil, and now all we got is this crap, look. That's anaerobic dead soil. You don't want that. So get the spray jug, sell it, give it away, whatever. But don't quit putting that poison on your land. You're going to go broke. Again, it's not the number of animals that causes overgrazing. It's how long they were there. Continuous grazing? Folks, this is a spring flush. That's as good as it's going to look. That's as good as that pasture is going to look. Now look over here. I mean, my God, I can hardly walk through it. I mean, there is some serious forage in here. This will make a good living for you on the land. So at the end of the day, we're talking about healthy land, healthy soils, healthy animals, healthy people, healthy food, healthy communities. What's better than that? Folks, this is Greg Judy signing off. Everyone have a great day.